So uh, Dan, we've just finished the first two practice sessions of the year and uh, sixth in FB1, third in FB2, you're uh, not holding anything back, are you? No, um, hopefully we are in the car, but uh, in me, no, you know, I think I'm doing absolutely the best job I can do, you know, I've been sort of thrown at the deep end, you know, it's a new car, new team, you know, I didn't get my car till, till media day when I spoke to yourself, and, um, and yeah, and since then we've done a little bit of testing, mainly in the wet, nothing major, and here we are, you know, so um, I'm doing the best job I can possibly do, I mean, I've always prided myself on my ability to learn and adapt, and I don't think I can do much of a better job right now, you know, I'm absorbing like a sponge as much information as I can, but you know everyone's got a limit so um you know hopefully this afternoon in qualifying will it'll be enough you know i think it will be i'd like to be somewhere near um i think the car's good obviously the team's great we just don't know what anybody else is doing yet i know what i'm doing i know what matt's doing um i have no idea what everybody else is doing but um you know it's qualifying next you know you've got to presume that people have at least tried to throw a lap in there otherwise how do you know what you've got when you uh, when it comes to it so uh, we'll see we'll see what everybody else has got i'll um Come see me after qualified. I'll either be uh, I'll either be hiding or I'll be uh, I'll be elated to talk to you. We'll see. Well, you uh, mentioned being thrown at the deep end. As uh, far as qualifying sessions go, this track has got the most manic of them all. 32 cars around a 1.1 mile track. It's a, a manic qualifying session for you guys. Yeah, you know, it's less less than a second between each car in theory. Um, quite a lot less, and and yeah, it is manic. And you just got to you will get a clear lap, but it's about you've got to deliver uh, everything you've got in that moment. Any mistakes, you might not get another chance. So um, there is a lot of pressure there to not only be fast, but also be ultimately the fastest you can be when the track gives you the opportunity to do it. Um, and then you've got to be in sync, hopefully when the car comes good, when the tyres come good. Yeah, it's a bit of a lottery out there, but you know, there's a skill to that lottery as well. And finally, looking ahead to qualifying, a sixth and a third in both practice, but as you mentioned, we're not 100% certain what everyone else is doing. So have you got a position area in mind for quali? <laughs> I have no idea, I really don't. Like I say, this is my first experience of this. Um, like I say, it, it could be one or two ways. I'll either be surprised and, and you know, in, in a good way and be like, oh, you know, that is what people had actually, you know, that there wasn't much left on the table. Or I'll be like, oh, there was a lot left on the table for some people. Um, sixth in FP1, third in FP2. If you do the maths, what does that make for, for qualifying? It's got to be got to be one, hasn't it? Half. Yeah, so <laughs> four and a half. Run. I didn't mean add them together and divide it by two. <laughs> no, not bad, not bad. We'll see, we'll see where we end up. We'll see where we end up. Hopefully somewhere towards the front. Okay, thank you very much for your time, Dan, Cheers. and very good for quality. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Cheers.